Well, the Oregon Zoo is home to some of the biggest animals in the world and some of the smallest, including western pond turtle hatchlings. In today's show and tell with Tony, we meet a zookeeper who makes sure these tiny turtles get a happy, healthy start. So today I'm with Sarah Morgan. Sarah is the senior keeper for the North America section of the Oregon Zoo, right? That's so right. in North America, I'm thinking mountain lions, bald eagles, big rough animals, but you had something else in mind to share with us today. What is it? Yeah, Tony, I wanted to share with you one of our Western pond turtle hatchlings. Could you have found a smaller animal to share? <laughs> it is pretty tiny, isn't it? Uh, this one in particular is only about 15 grams. What makes these little guys so special? We have a Head Start program, and we help these western pond turtles get a head start on life. Because right, they're a threatened species, right? That's right. Um, they are endangered mostly to invasive, because of invasive predators, right. like uh, bullfrogs and largemouth bass. Wow. And so they could live to be how old? They can live actually to be about 70 years old. That's amazing. Isn't that great? So, I mean, I'm sure you have lots of responsibilities here at the zoo, but part of what you do is see to it that this little guy could possibly live to almost see the turn of the century. And what is that like for you? Being able to help uh, to conserve a species really does inspire yeah. me. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So we're, is this like this nurturing, protective nature, is that something you've always had? Were you the kid bringing home stray puppies and stray, stray animals? And um, Well, yeah, actually, I um, really was the person that always brought home strange animals. Yeah. We had these um, boxes of bugs throughout my house and really? um, did my best to figure out how to find my place in this world, and this is it. So this makes total <laughs> sense for you. The idea here is that you want to make sure they get a head start so they can live to those possibly 70 years. Yeah, that's the goal. Um, we help give optimal parameters for growth here, um, and then we release them when they hit to be about 70 grams, and then they're big enough, and then they can breed on their own and have hatchlings of their own someday. Thanks, Sarah. Thank you. Oh my gosh, I love it. Okay, did you get to hold one? <laughs> Uh, no. <laughs> well, They're I in look, danger, you got to right? put gloves on the whole thing, but I want to see that box of bugs. I <laughs> she, know. That is a, yeah. But I love the fact that she sort of had that vocation kind of in her heart as a child and yeah. was able to kind of see it through to fruition as, as an adult. Now, Drew, like, were you like a, like a weather climate kind of kid or you kind of come into it later in life? Uh, a little bit later in life, yeah, uh, yeah but... No, I was just kind of that kid that was always talking and <laughs> yeah. just up in uh, front of people. So. For me. There <laughs> yeah. you go. A little piece of that in your heart, you know, it yeah. started early and now here you are. Exactly. Yeah. And, yeah. Tony, you know what I love is that we've done the story on them releasing these turtles yeah. many times over the years. And yeah. so it was so cool to sort of see where it starts. Yeah, and, 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 to, and to see what it's like to be a part of it on a personal level. Yeah. That's why I was really interested in uh, meeting it. Sarah for us. Really so, yeah, cool. Thanks. Yet again, another great show and tell, yeah, Tony. Thank that. you. Mm -hmm.